All right. This is versus Urban Champion. I'm actually playing the Switch version or the um, Arcade Archives version. I don't normally like to do that because of how much of a wrapper they add around it. Uh, I've been just using MAME. But for this one, there is no uh, ROM on MAME yet. So I just decided to play it on the Switch. Uh, I might come back and play it if it's the uh, if it ever does get uh, available for MAME. But for now, I'm just going to do it here. Um, yeah, and yes, this is game number 100 versus Urban Champion. <laughs> yeah, it's being worked on right now. I think because of they're able to get it from the Switch version. Game number 100 versus Urban Champion. Let's go. Uh, uh. Let's see if I remember how to play this. I wonder how similar it is to the uh, NES version. Uh. Oh, I prefer the knockout punch. Oh. So far, this is pretty similar to the NES version. Yeah, knock him on the head. Oh man. Ugh. Is this different music? Oh. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I didn't. Oh. I wonder if this one wasn't very popular, considering how long it's taken four people to get the ROM. Oh, double punch. Oh, you're still not dunked in yet? Hey, I'll take this. <laughs> it was unreleased? Wait, seriously? I don't necessarily play unreleased games. <laughs> or like, what to? Ah, I, I will in this case. Ooh, the song has changed. In a way, this is a release, but then it's but it's not published. This it's crazy. These versions aren't even published by Nintendo. They're published by Hamster. Well, I'll have to think about it a little bit then. Maybe they'll come back next week and there'll be another 100 game 100. <laughs> I'll have to decide whether or not I actually want to include this if it was never actually released. I don't know. People are probably still interested interested in it, so maybe I should just keep it in. Oh, so Wikipedia is saying it did come out. Wonder if it just did like barely. Like it was just it did so poorly that they barely sold any of them. Weren't the versus I might be wrong, but weren't the versus system actually like you could plug in whatever you wanted and it would work? I don't know if like did they do unique systems for each of these? But I guess they had to do art, but I don't know how they how they would do that. Uh, yeah, maybe it's like a. I did play Skyskipper too, actually, which is true. That wasn't really one that made it out in the public much. You can plug in any versus game to it. Yeah, I wonder the care. I will say one thing I'm noticing about this is there's more care. The, your opponent has more variety of appearances, which I know is revolutionary. It turns a bad game into the best game ever made. <laughs> this is really similar to the uh, NES version. The only thing I'm noticing different is the music and the... Oh, man, he's kind of messing me up. Is the music and the... Uh, the different looks of the opponents. Dang. I was winning. What I wonder, actually, is does it still go on if you lose stamina, or is that just a loss to try to get you to pay more quarters? Oh, shoot. Now I'm doing terrible. Of course I am. I actually thought Ver uh, Skyskipper wasn't terrible. There was a lot worse stuff out there at the time.
it's it's art style was a mess which i think was a big part of it of why it wasn't doing well dang nabbit a lot of summer game did poorly back when it was released to test arcades did poorly in america yeah One thing that is funny is Radar Scope did test well, but it just didn't sell well. The market wasn't interested in it. And they blamed it on the fact that they shipped it to New York, which took forever to ship from Japan, which from then on out, they actually shipped to Seattle instead as a result. But I don't know if a six month, is a six month shipping time really enough to make people no longer interested in space shooters? Maybe. It's kind of funny, you'll, you'll see this in the Donkey Kong summary video, but, uh... Space... Yeah, Radar Scope did terribly. It was not... It's, it's... You'll hear more about it again in Donkey Kong. Because it's, it's part of Donkey Kong's history. They've got some new tactics, actually, that are making them a bit harder than the, uh... Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think Skyskipper was actually one of the better games I played around that time period. Yeah, I actually wasn't crazy about Space Firebird. It wasn't terrible, but... I was already starting to get a little burnout on those kind of games, I think, and the enemies were just so hard to hit. I think when I look at, I haven't played Galaxian, but when I was looking at the gameplay, they at least pause sometimes. The birds are just always flying around. Yo, this guy has pink eyeballs, by the way. He's got a bad case of pink eye. Dang it, I thought I blocked in time. Oh, we're just gut punching each other. Ooh, being tricky, are we? Dang it. Man, we are neck and neck right now. Finally, I've got an advantage. Now the police are probably going to come and mess everything up. Finally. Pink Eye Phil. <laughs> okay. Man, it always feels good to get past a game I've been stuck on for a while. Even if I am only playing Urban Champion right now. Something new. Man, Peekyville's giving me problems. Honestly, I'm okay with that. He was kind of in the lead. It's like fun, but Galga's my shoot 'em up game. I'm so good at it and got high scores. Ah, so that's like one of your favorites. Yeah. Yeah, as, as you've hear, heard in my summary videos, I wasn't really around during the arcade era, and I don't know if that influenced why I'm not crazy about high score chasers, but that's just kind of how I am, you know, everyone has their different preferences. Ooh, it's evening now. Galaga's fun because of the double ship. I, I haven't actually, like I said, I've never actually played Galaga. This, this, I'll tell you what this does want to make me do, is maybe play a few more of these old arcade games on my own time. All the big ones, you know? Do you know if, which ones, like, are there some of them on the Switch? I don't know if the big ones would be. A lot of the really popular ones, I imagine the companies want to hold a little tighter to their chest, but...
You don't play it all on the Switch, you just emulate, yeah. I get it. I like getting them on the Switch or like things like that when I can, just because it's nice, even though it's obviously not free. It's at least nice that they're making an effort to make it actually playable to modern audiences. And not just completely losing them to time. I was just about a win. Mappy, Frogger, Dig Dug, or Qbert. I don't know if they're on the Switch, but those are classics. I want to say I've played Dig Dug, but very little of it. Either that or I played some. Uh. Oh no, this is the bad one. I wasn't paying attention. I got taken away. I can't remember if I played Dig Dug or if I just played the knockoff of it. <laughs> I know what the core gameplay loop is like, though, in that one. I might have played it. I, had a f I don't know if it was on that, though. I know I had a friend that had, like, a... They had, like, a... Some weird arcade old some old machine that had like a bunch of arcades that you would plug into a TV, but I don't remember if that's where I played it. That was forever ago. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't realize you ran out of time there. I would have kept up the fight a little better because I had the advantage. I was like, why is he still punching me? And then I was too late when I realized. Dang it. Come on. Oh, bummer. Well, I guess that's better than the alternative, actually. Come on. Oh, that was close. Ooh, he did something tricky. Dang. I, it might have been something like that. It was so long ago. I don't remember what it was. I haven't talked to that friend in years. Dig Dug is awesome. You love Dig Dug 2. I didn't even know there was a Dig Dug 2. I guess it doesn't surprise me. Reminds me, I bought... So I bought a... I actually bought a bunch of the NES games, too. And I got Tetris 2, and the, even the guy at the store was like... Tetris 2? He, like... It was funny. Because, <laughs> I mean, everyone only knows about Tetris, not Tetris 2, you know? Part of me would love to actually collect and own all of these Nintendo published games, but... So maybe someday, but a lot of them are pretty pricey. Your favorite arcade games are probably the Pac-Man ones. Yeah, I've played... I want to say I've played the original Pac-Man. I know I've played in arcades. Uh, like a four-player Pac-Man. I, I did that not too long ago, actually. Oh, that person tried to throw plants at me really fast. I don't know how new that one is, if that's like some modern version. But it was pretty fun, actually. Battle Royale, as that's called. Yeah, I had a good time with it. Played it at a... I want to say it was a Dave & Buster's? I don't remember. Nice. Professor Pac-Man? I don't know. I haven't even heard of that one. <laughs> there actually are some Pac-Man games that Nintendo helped publish to the West. That I'll be playing. Like, I think Pac-Land? There was an NES port or some version of it? No, maybe not Pac-Land. I don't remember. 
But there are a few Pac-Man games I'm gonna play. I don't know if any of them's a version of the actual arcade classic, though. Oh! That's a quiz show! <laughs> Okay. Next up. Wait, no, I didn't get a flag. Is flag percent not a thing in this? I guess they don't do the lives the same way. Or the victories the same way. Because wasn't that when I got to five lives? Or no, was that when I got to six? That was when I got to six. So it would be the next life. I just now realized this is Pink Eye Phil again. Back for some more. Beat up. Does that mean I actually cycled through all the, uh... Opponents, because that could be a good... Oh, I'm gonna get hit. I didn't, because that could be a good stopping point. Ooh, tricky. Okay. Plop! Ben. <laughs> Yep, I got the flag. Flag percent obtained. I'm a little curious to see when it stops being nighttime, too. But I'm not going to worry too hard about that. Or, like, if it cycles to a full day, you know? Because each time I play, the, the time of day keeps changing. At this point, I'm already content with this game whenever this run ends, though. I don't really see a reason to do much more. I don't think most people will care. Honestly, this is still a pretty good way to play this game. Even if I consider them to be separate releases, this is a pretty faithful way to play the actual game. I just ignore all the high score chaser modes and stuff when considering it. Or like the global ratings and stuff. And the other modes. Ooh. It's kind of interesting that they use the Japanese version of um, the Punch-Out games, because if I recall correctly, those are games that did especially well in the West, or in the like in the U.S. in particular, it was really popular. They even released the uh, arm wrestling spinoff as a an exclusive to the U.S. They didn't even get a Japanese version, which might be the first game, actually, that did that. The first U.S. exclusive game. Oh, dang it. I think I might be dead. Oh, I'm still in it. Barely. Can a policeman come, please? No! One life left. What the? How did I block that? Why does it say calm? Oh, I forgot I gave myself more life. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? This run is going to be take forever. I got five lives still. I got to get to bed, man. Oh. Yo, this guy's messing me up now. I think part of the reason why I thought the Game & Watch boxing game was not good is it kind of feels like, well, it's not the reason why, but just to give you an idea, is it kind of feels honestly like a worse version of this game, and that's saying something. Ah, dummy. That was that's actually a strat. Try to see if I can get him to move into it. Oh, you're so lucky. That sounds gross. It was. <laughs> I kind of I kind of appreciate what they were like going for with it. It just didn't work. 
right, you're getting arrested. See you later, sucker. I think so? It actually, it was kind of funny. In the West, they called it Game & Watch Punch-Out. Even though it... Uh, I think it's a, a Japanese name. It was Game & Watch Boxing, which is just what I called it. Nintendo helped with Pac-Man versus... I didn't know that. Whoa. I don't know if I, have I fought this guy before. Getting tricky. Come on. Double punch. Uh. Goodbye. Did I get an extra life at one point? I heard a jingle. I might just... Well, we'll see. Actually, I've always been curious what happens if you get past crowns. I don't know if I'll play that long, but... So it's kind of funny. A game I play with my brothers... Uh, we've downloaded images from, like, a ton of games of, like, main characters and stuff like that. And then we randomize... We randomly pick one, and whoever guesses the right character wins. Uh, or whoever says the name first wins. And I usually try to use official art. So, for uh, Punch-Out, I use the cover art with the announcer and call it Mario. <laughs> it's really, and it's a really funny, uh... It's just the, the funniest official art of Mario, I guess. <laughs> I actually started that game, a version of that game on stream when it was just a few of us. Uh, we were, I was using Smash Bros. Spirits initially, but now I've put in a bunch of effort to actually look a bunch up and put them into it. Dang, I'm getting kind of messed up. Shoot, the police are about to come too. I just push you back one more, please. No, I'm gonna get arrested! I didn't do anything, sir. Can't you see he's the one beating me up? Oh, I just died. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't get arrested. I got bonks. I should know that was gonna happen. We got another one too with a bunch of music. We got a bunch of YouTube, used a bunch of YouTube playlists. You try to guess what game the song was from. This is definitely getting harder. I don't know if I, sh if I should try to find a new strat, because my current one doesn't seem to be working that well. Like, if I should throw in more tiny punches, because the big punches have a... Oh, dang it. Yeah, this guy's kind of messing me up, not gonna lie. There's another life down! This is gonna be over before we know it. I won't even get as far as I did on the NES one. Would it be an arcade version without it being just more brutal? And this is the easy difficulty. <laughs> that keep in mind, yeah, there were harder times you could do for Excite Bike. I picked the easy times. Which is wild. I've been thinking about it. I think I am gonna just do all my verses with the NES ones. Even though it's gonna make the video title. Oh, that means Urban Champion won't be the 100th summary video, though. What a bummer. <laughs> I think it just makes more sense to do it that way. Even if it is gonna make him out of order with the actual uh, release points and numbers of the VODs.
Dang it. Yeah, I'm losing this fast. You mentioned Arara made the NES port to Je. You know, this is gonna be shipped by Atari early on. It was gonna be distributed by Atari initially. I didn't know that. Dude, I'm doing really bad. I think I'm starting to get kind of tired. <laughs> it's getting a little late for me. Ah, uh, it's an interesting tidbit for it. Yeah, I'll look. I'll uh make a note of that one. There are pictures of it too? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I could use that, definitely. What I find interesting, uh, like a lot of the games for the NES that I was like, man, these like aren't as good as some of the better NES games. But they it's because they all came out before Mario Brothers. In the US, we got Mario Bros. right away, but in Japan, they were still figuring all this stuff out, you know? All these kind of janky sports games. Wow, I'm getting... I got messed up by this guy. <laughs> the Atari Nintendo Advanced Video System. Interesting. Well, that's time. That is versus Urban Champion. Game number... Oh, wait. Hang on. Let's put the score in. Uh, I'll use Kid this time. Definitely beat the high score. So, yeah, I'm good. The built-in high score. I'm good with that. Oh, this doesn't exist. Don't look. That is Urban Champion. And time. 26-35.